Hey friends, it's Colin. I hope everybody's having an outstanding day today. Johnny. Yeah, that's right, Johnny. When you hear that name, does it sound synonymous with the Harley Davidson Motor Company? I mean, while it's a common name, it led to a three letter word that we know so well today. Why am I talking about Harley Davidson trivia? Well, there's a reason for that. I'm gonna explain it later in the video and how it's gonna impact the future of this channel. Back in the early 20s, yeah, about 100 years ago, Harley Davidson had a racing team. And this racing team was quite good, actually. They were known and named the Wrecking Crew, and they were aptly named that because they wrecked the competition. I mean, they destroyed them. They won a lot. And it was actually, they got the name probably in 1915, 1916 range, and then uh, this thing called World War I happened, and then they kind of got delayed for several years. So back in the early 20s when they came back, they were doing the, um, the board and the dirt racing. And there was this one dude on the team, and this guy's name was Ray Weishar. And dude Ray was a balls-to-the-wall rider. He did not care. He rode his ass off. That's good and bad. Good meaning that when he won, uh, he won big, but at the same time, because he rode so hard, he ended up breaking a lot of machines, and he didn't finish. But one thing uh, with this team, back in the early 20s, and when they'd go to these small towns and do races, they didn't have a lot of entertainment, right? So they'd kind of have to entertain themselves. So one day, um, Ray left the track, and he was gone for about an hour. And then he came back, and he had a new pet with him. And this pet, he aptly named Johnny. And Johnny was a little piglet. So the entire team really dug this thing. They liked it. They ended up adopting it as their uh, team mascot. And uh, the audiences loved it. And one thing that Ray did is when he did win a race, he would do a victory lap with little Johnny on the bike. And so every the crowd would go wild and everybody would love it. And at the time, the uh, local media um, ended up naming them the Harley Hogs, which evolved to hog, the word you know today that I mentioned earlier. And then several decades later, Harley decided to do the uh, get on the stock exchange and their symbol, hog. And then several decades past that, um, we had um, the Harley Owners Group, and they used it hog. So that's kind of how it all came about. So pretty cool trivia, right? Here's another one. Here's another one that I could bring up. So, a lot of companies do this. A lot of companies do acquisitions throughout the history of their company. You know, some do a lot, some do a little. Now, Harley was part of that. Now, while Harley hasn't done nearly as much as, like, let's say, Amazon, which seems to do one every six months, uh, they did have their share of acquisitions over the air. Now, most of them were motorcycle-related. They were. But there was one in particular kind of kind of stumped me a little bit. And uh, this happened in 1986, and they wanted to diversify their portfolio a little bit, and they definitely did with this. They ended up buying the Holiday Rambler Motor Home Company, and you guessed it, it was an RV company. And in hindsight, that wasn't the best financial decision that Harley ever did. So after about 10 years, they ended up selling this um, for a lot less. They paid $155 million dollars to purchase this uh, company and then 10 years later in 1996 when they sold it to a uh, Monaco coach uh, they sold it for 50 million dollars so not the best return on your investment let's put it that way but you know all businesses have successes and all businesses have failures and then that one in my opinion was probably not the best decision now I wonder at the time did they have an orange and black uh, RV when they when they ran it. Uh, yeah, you know you're thinking it and they probably charged like ten thousand dollars more, right? I had to say it man. I had to say it. Oh, here's another cool one. Here's another cool one. I like this one So Harley at one time actually tried to trademark the sound of the potato 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 From their v-twin and this was back in 1994 So in 1994 they actually filed a petition for a sound now, when you trademark stuff, most people know that you trademark like logos or slogans, right? But it's rare when you hear a trademark sound. So some instances that you might not realize that are actually trademarked. Uh, the NBC, 
Dun, dun, dun. Forgive my singing voice on this. I'm not going to even try to sing. Uh, ESPN. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. That one. Uh, the MGM. So, like, you know when you go to a movies or you see them on TV and they've got that thing in the beginning with the MGM logo and they got the lion that roars? That's actually trademarked. Uh, this one you'll like. Homer Simpson. Dope! That's actually a trademark sound. Here's another one. Darth Vader's breathing. I'm going to try to attempt this in the helmet. <sighs> Sounds like I'm spitting up in my helmet. But, you know, you can imagine that. Uh, Luke, come to the dark side and ride your Harley on the Death Star. And then in the 90s, and I grew up in the 90s, so I grew up in the 80s. But if you remember this 90s when the Internet first started, a little company, and it's still around today, but it's much smaller. AOL, you've got mail. Those are all sounds that are trademarked, so it's pretty cool learning about that. Anyway... So when Harley decided to trademark this sound, the potato, 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 there was a lot of pushback. There was a lot of companies, motorcycle companies, that uh, said, I don't think so. Companies like Kawasaki, Suzuki, Honda said, uh, well, we have V-Twins in our lineup, and they have a similar sound to that. And we're like pushing them, saying, no, you're not going to get this trademark. So after years, now, you know, personally, I can always tell something's a Harley over a Honda. But anyway, after years of legal fees and kind of like litigation, all these costs that were mounting up, they decided to drop it. So I believe it was in uh, 2001, they ended up dropping that entire uh, trademark request to get the potato, potato, potato sound. So some pretty cool trivia, right? So here's the reason I'm doing this. I mentioned earlier about what I'm doing with my channel. I'm going to try something new. And what I'm going to try is at the end of each video, I'm going to do it at the end, I'm going to give you guys some trivia. And it's not going to be just trivia that I, like I talked about today and tell you, like I think I told you three different things about the Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company. It's more going to be questions and it's going to be interactive to see if you guys can answer them. Now, some are going to be super easy and some are going to be maybe esoteric. God, that's a $5 word. I haven't said that in a long time. But uh, so, like, for example, let me give you a couple here. So Harley went through a hostile takeover, or was in the middle of a hostile takeover at one time. And at the last minute, this company kind of came in and saved them from total annihilation. And uh, here's a hint. Uh, there were 12 years of heartache uh, from riders and employees when this company took over. What's the name of the company? And uh, let me do another one. Let me think of another one. Okay, in this year... Harley-Davidson had to completely re-strategize or refocus their business plan because they had an 85% drop in overall profit. What was the year that happened? So there you go. So, you know, th there's your two, there's your two, for, there's your two uh, questions for this video. And normally I'll probably just do one. But I, I want to do it because I want to get interaction. I want to do it just to have fun, just to try something new, right? So let me know your thoughts on that. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Uh, again, I'm, I'm planning on doing it because if you don't know this, I'm a big history buff. I love history in general. Uh, I love a lot of war, war history, like the Civil War. World War II is my favorite. I could talk all day about history. But actually, my favorite type of history is business history. I love it. I love learning about companies from start to finish, their successes and their failures, and what they've done and how they've evolved over the years. I just get into that. So I want to share that kind of experience with you guys, but relate it to Harley Davidson. So that's all I have today, guys. Now get out there and ride. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.